Hi, everyone. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed that performance of Math Whiz by Bradley Silwash. It is from the new 2022 6th edition uh, RCM Piano Syllabus. Uh, so I have a student who's working on this right now, so I can't really do a first impressions video. Uh, so I'm just going to share a little bit of commentary. So for those of you who are not familiar with Bradley Sowash, he is a teacher, a pedagogue, a presenter, a recording artist from the States. And did I say presenter? I hope I said presenter. Originally from Ohio, moved to New York, and then back to Ohio. Um, I had the pleasure of attending a webinar with him a few years back on incorporating jazz chords and improvisation into lessons. So math whiz, let us put the screen up. So adjusting screen. So bar one, we have one note. Bar two, we have two. So one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. In the third bar, and then we got four. And then the next bar, we have what, five notes. Bar five has five notes. Bar six has six notes. Bar seven has seven notes, if my math was correct last night. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the pattern stops at seven. So that's the math, which is pretty funky. So that's something to highlight if you are learning the piece or working on the piece, teaching the piece, whatever. Okay, uh, next page, next page. Okay, so at the very end, we also have the deconstruction, the same way, but just in reverse. So we have bar 41 has eight notes, and then 42 has seven, and then six, and then five, and then four, three, two, and then at the very end, one. So very cool how he, he works that out. Um, in terms of challenges, let's just go back. Uh, speed, definitely. And um, the reason why this took so many takes for me to do, when it really should not have taken me so many takes to do, are the slight changes in articulation. So uh, there were spots here, for instance, going from bar 11 to 12, where, you know, not staccato there with that F, and that staccato there. So I was trying to nail that for you guys. Um, and then a couple spots where th the pattern just changes a little bit. So in terms of what would be a challenge for a student learning this, th that would probably be it. So speed, the slight changes in articulation, the slight changes in the pattern. So yeah, catchy, catchy rhythm. Uh, I think the students will have fun seeing if they can actually get it to 152. It sounds daunting, but actually once you've got the pattern, 152 is pretty easy to get. And I think that is it. Um, my student just started working on this piece, so I look forward to hearing how her progress has been throughout this week. And that is it. So if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. Drop a comment down below. If you've learned this piece, share your thoughts down below, or if you've taught this piece, uh, what you liked about this piece, what you found were some of the challenges. If you'd like to check out more content on the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help the channel grow. It really does help the YouTube algorithm and all that jazz. That's it till next time. So take care and catch you in the next video. Bye.